there's something you should know about democracy. Watch out! Western democracy is coming! What? <laughs> For a nation to truly develop, it needs a strong leader. Now, how do you choose that leader? Well, according to Western liberal democracy, you get given some candidates and the whole country gets together to vote for whoever they think will lead the country best. Sounds great, but it's not. You see, these candidates don't get voted for according to their knowledge or their expertise or their stand for truth and justice. They don't? No! They're voted for according to who's the most charismatic. Whoever can win the crowd. In other words, whoever's the most likeable. Knowledge, morality and skill sets has got nothing to do with it. That's why every four years you get a new likely candidate for the position of presidency or prime minister presenting himself to you as though he's the nicest guy in the world. He promises things like free education and we go yay. Lower taxes and we go yay. No more war and we go yay. But he or she is only saying that so you'll vote for them. And the moment you do, he's bombing another country, your taxes are even higher, you can forget about your rights, and education is even more expensive and puts us into even more debt than you were ever in before. And what do we do about it? Nothing. We'll wait another four years until we get another chance. So four years later, we get another likely candidate for the position of presidency or prime minister, presenting himself to us as though he's the nicest guy in the world. He promises things like free education. And we go, yay. Just stop. But don't worry, every four years, the politicians get better! Better at deceiving the public, better at making you think that you have a choice when it comes to the real policies of the country, and better at getting you to vote for them. The American is a novel by Howard Fast, highly recommended by Ayatollah Khamenei himself, who highlights that reading this book, one can realize what elections really are. For an individual who wants to live in a logic-based society, such criteria makes absolutely no sense. It begins with local elections, and then goes on to gubernatorial elections, house elections, senate elections, and presidential elections. Those who play no role in the elections are the people. You! The sad thing is, people living in liberal democratic nations still believe they actually have a choice. What's that I hear you say? You do have a choice? You can make a change while working within the governmental system? Well, then why don't you run for president or prime minister? Hmm? 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 Here's five biscuit tips for you while you attempt to become the Prime Minister or President of your country. Number one. Be rich. Filthy rich. Number two. Be arrogant. Making sure that you put other potential candidates down even though they might genuinely be better for the position than you. Number three. <sighs> Make sure you have the backing of your Zionist friends. You ain't going anywhere without them. Number four. Be good looking, have an attractive spouse, and smile at the camera. Number five. If you don't have the solution to a problem, or you yourself are the problem, lie. Follow these five tips and you will be voted for. Ta-da! The people will now follow your whims and desires, regardless of whether you're representing any spiritual or moral value. Hey, if you keep them happy, they'll keep you happy. Now, in and of itself, is democracy really a bad thing? Democracy is simply a system of government in which the citizens elect representatives from among themselves to form a governing body, such as a parliament. Hey, that sounds great. Whatever the majority of people want, they'll get. But there's a big flaw in this way of thinking. Imagine a family where the children outnumber the parents, where everyone in the house gets to vote on the house rules. Sounds good? No, it will just screw everything up. There's just no balance. There'll be ice cream before dinner time, nobody waking up for school on time, everybody will gang up on the smallest kid from time to time, and there'll be video games and TV all the time. That's just not the way it works. There has to be some moral compass that guides the people other than their own desires. Otherwise, whatever the majority of people want, they'll get. You see, it's exactly that kind of thinking which justified the slavery of millions of black Africans for 250 years. The masses wanted it, so they got it. Millions of people, millions, died of starvation in Bengal. Because Winston Churchill, the Prime Minister of England, casually diverted food supplies away from the starving victims to his own European soldiers. And when somebody asked him, hey, what's with that? He simply said, Famine or no famine, Indians will breed like rabbits. But the people still voted for him. 
twice. And let's not forget this guy, yet another democratically elected leader. The masses wanted it, so they got it. Charismatic as these people were, these candidates lacked morality. Yet masses of people surrendered their wills to these candidates by voting for them. And today things are no different. We still vote for people according to how nice their smile is and how many promises they make us. In other words, how well they lie to us. And now it's gotten to... Ah, oh, I can't be bothered. I wouldn't vote for either of them. Ah. Don't feel sorry for yourself. If there's a problem in society, it's your responsibility to try and change it, not somebody else's. George Orwell, the writer who raised awareness about social injustice, once said, A people that elect corrupt politicians, imposters, thieves and traitors are not victims, but accomplices. In other words, there's only one solution. One solution indeed. If you haven't started following us on Telegram, what are you waiting for? Just type in Islamic Pulse on the search bar, see what comes up.